Well, I told you guys there was going to be more information coming out from Age of Calamity's leak. I said that earlier today in my last video. And the information that has come out now is, well, huh. spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. I'm warning you guys right now. This entire video is spoilerific if you couldn't get that from the title. If you're still watching anyways, you have no one to blame but yourself for having this be spoiled to you. Uh, also, I need to address a point from my prior video. So the people were all, oh man, you really, Breath of the Wild is your favorite game and you of all time and you didn't even know who these one characters were. Yeah, of course I know who the descendants are, guys. When I was editing the video, I literally facepalmed at myself for not recognizing Riju, for not recognizing Thera, for not recognizing uh, Yona Kaku, I can't even say the guy's name, that Goron guy. Right? Obviously, these are all the other additional, you know, not descendants per se, but like um, new lead characters for their, their groups after the champions, you know, just like Sidon is for Mifa. So, again, I get it. I understand it was an embarrassing flub, but you know what? I'm only human. We all make mistakes. I played the hell out of Breath of the Wild, hundreds of hours into that game, but guess what? I haven't played it in three years. So, I mean, that lets you know how important I feel those characters actually are to the story. They're just not that important. There's real stories about the champions, Zelda, Link, and, you know, the Great Calamity. Anyways, I don't want to get into that. Let's get into the rest of the actual stuff here. Story warning galore. I'm not going to show you any of the cutscenes, but we are going to talk about the cutscenes. We are going to talk about the story. We're going to talk about story from beginning to end, but we are not going to talk about the cutscenes in particular, specific ones, how many there are. This comes from Zavian over on Reset Era, who watched all the cutscenes, so he claims. And I... The the Nintendo lie? Is this not a prequel? Let's let's get into this. Xavian says, Honestly, I think it's because Nintendo just couldn't bring themselves to make a Zelda game that has Link ending up dead at the end. To be fair, Link doesn't technically die. He gets put into the Pool of Resurrection, so he's not actually dead. That's a point of contention to what he's saying, because, again, Link doesn't die. Link fails, but he doesn't die. Anyways... Having watched all the cutscenes now, I can definitively say there's no way Age of Calamity is the actual backstory of Breath of the Wild. The champions survive. The Breath of the Wild characters travel back in time to help them. Link doesn't die. And Zelda never goes to the Lost Woods to deposit the Master Sword with the Great Deku Tree for safekeeping. No one-on-one -on -one Zelda versus Ganon fight. Instead, we get an end game style team up with literally everybody showing up to beat down the evil fortune teller and his corrupted egg guardian. This is not Breath of the Wild's backstory in any way, shape, or form. I actually think Nintendo is guilty of lying to us. The actual content of Age of Calamity is very far removed from what we were told it would be when it was revealed. The only way Age of Calamity could still end up being Breath of the Wild's backstory is if all those cutscenes that are missing from the folder right now are of an alternate storyline where the events of Breath of the Wild actually end up do happening, but I don't know if we should expect that. So what he's saying is all the cutscenes that are available in the data mine, you know, because there's, there's a folder that's missing or empty at the moment, uh, there might be a day one update or whatever the case might be. Uh, could be that the, there's branching storylines because Muso games tend to have branching storylines. This might be one particular storyline that isn't real, but then at the same point, why would those be included in the base game and not the actual backstory of Breath of the Wild when it was advertised by A.G. and Oma to be a prequel? Now, one thing I think is weird, and we've all seen this, this cutscene exists in the demo. Zelda puts up her hand, puts up her hand with the Triforce glowing, against a guardian we see this this is a this is a reminiscent cutscene from breath of the wild itself so that cutscene exists this is the cutscene that's supposed to immediately lead to link being taken to the pool of resurrection this cutscene exists at the beginning of age of calamity we know this it's in the demo so what is happening <laughs> with this story I get that they created some new enemy. I get that they created some new dark, and maybe this darkness, this enemy, this whatever guy comes back, you know, and you, and you face off, face off against him in Breath of the Wild 2, along with Ganondorf or something. I have no idea. You know, th there's something going to be maybe story connected if this is canon, and we've been led to believe all along that Age of Calamity is 
cannon. That is part of the massive excitement for this game. I don't want to believe that AG and Omu lied to us. I don't want to believe that Nintendo lied to us. I, I can't fathom that this game isn't canon. So then I'm just left to wonder, okay, if this is the story direction they're going with, and there's obviously some cutscenes missing that might explain more, I I have to I have to wonder. Are they just retconning the entire backstory of Breath of the Wild to set up the sequel? Like, do the champions come back to life in the second game? I mean, there was no time travel in Breath of the Wild, and suddenly there's time travel in this game. So, like, is Breath of the Wild taking place in an alternate universe? What is happening right now? The, the speculation is going to run wild at this point. If you want to find the cutscenes, folks, you can find them. I'll just tell you where they are. 4chan. I'm not going to tell you where to find them on 4chan. Not going to link directly to the leaks. They exist. I've witnessed them earlier today. I literally saw for a half second turn it off because I want to experience the cutscenes for myself. Yes, I know we just went over the big story spoilers. All that jazz, that's great. I don't want Nintendo copyright claiming my, my channel by tossing out um, the actual video footage, but we could talk about it because the information exists. It's out there. People have seen it. People are talking about it. Some people are really disappointed, and you might be really disappointed too. I have no idea. All I know is this sounds strange. Doesn't sound like what was promised to us, but caveat being there's missing files. There's missing cutscenes. Might explain more of it. I have no idea. Maybe this is the fight before the fight. You know, maybe they take out this person and then after the champions die and then after maybe there's this big long cutscene that's being added at the end of the day that you don't even experience in the game. It's just kind of an organic cutscene. I have no idea. We don't know. Maybe. And this happens with Musou games. The real backstory will be added as a $20 DLC that will piss people off. But it's a Musou game and Musou games, while they give you a crap load of content for your money, they also include story many times in their DLC. So, I'm just throwing out there, it's possible the story's not done. And they're going to drag this out with DLC packs up until the release of Breath of the Wild 2. That's another potential possibility here, where this is the beginning of the journey, rather than the end. So, we'll have to see what happens. Um, obviously, the Champions and Link are really, really close. Uh, and we know this in Breath of the Wild, so... Uh, they must have adventured a little bit together. Maybe this is some adventures they went on before the big calamity. I have no idea because it's weird because the game starts off by talking about the calamity. So I don't know. This is crazy. This is strange. I don't know what the hell is happening. Um, but uh, hey, we'll see when the game comes out. And you know what? Potentially this user is lying. We got to throw that out there. They could just be making up shit. But then again, some of the references are things that I saw when I glanced at some of the cutscene videos. Just glanced. And I'm like, oh boy, I don't want to see anymore. So I don't think they're lying. I think there's an incomplete picture here. But uh, hey, you guys can go down in the comments now and discuss it and figure it out for yourselves. And again, apologies again for my earlier flub. Take away my gamer cred. Whatever you feel like you need to do to make yourself feel better at the end of the day. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. And Age of Calamity comes out this Friday. Catch you guys in the next video.